Hey Planner Squad, welcome or welcome back. It's me, Brittany from Plenty One Life. Now the weather has been warming up rather nicely. I've been enjoying myself being in the sun. Finally, it's not getting dark so early. I hope that you guys have been enjoying it too. Now this time of the year is when we usually start to make plans to travel and I've already booked some travel plans for myself. I actually set up my little travel journal already. If you wanna see the setup and flip through of this, go ahead, keep watching this video. I'm going to share it at the end of it all right but before i share that i am going to be sharing with you the top items that i believe you should bring with you when you travel because as planner gals and planner guys let's be honest we want to bring everything we want to bring all the things but trust me you don't need all of the things that you want to bring you don't need everything you're just not going to use it and also it's going to make your bag really heavy you don't need that you just need a few important items and that's it and trust me it is going to be the best decision that you've made. I've lived and I've learned, guys, that certain things I don't really need. And truly, you're trying to enjoy yourself when you're traveling, being in that moment, and just capturing a few memories in your travel journal. So the first item that you should bring with you is a small notebook. We want to pack light. Make it simple, guys. Now I have a passport size notebook here. I got this from Amazon a while back. I used to use this as my children's travel journals. I have a couple of them actually, for one for each child. And it's sewn bound, a really nice little book. So if you want a really small one like passport, which I highly recommend, you could try this out. I'll leave the links for all of these down below in case you wanna check them out and be, dive a little bit deeper into what they're all about and what they look like size wise get those exact measurements and everything now this is the uh, pocket size field notes you guys know i love my field notes these are perfect to literally fit in your pocket and fit in any bag so this is a size that you may want to consider then we have the week size now this is by hobonichi it comes in a pack of three this is their a6 size it comes in a pack of three as well very slim so if you notice too all of these notebooks are also very slim they are not too wide at all because again we don't just want them to not be that long we also want to make sure they're not that wide or deep as well so even though this one is the tallest and longest out of the bunch of notebooks that i have here it is still very slim and very thin. So this would be perfect to just throw in a bag. And I actually was using this at one point as a little uh, practice notebook for calligraphy. Then over here, like I was saying, I was showing you guys the A6. So this is also an A6 just by different companies. So their sizes are slightly different. This is the Stology A6, and this is again, the Hobonichi A6. So you can see that the Stology is a little bit longer and a little bit wider on this side and also as far as depth it is a little bit thicker because it has about half the year in here i highly recommend not getting okay highly recommend not getting okay you don't want to get it <laughs> the 365 days one because again it's going to add more weight to your bag it's going to get heavy as you start to fill it up remember you're going to fill these up with different pictures memories ephemera and different things you don't want it to get too heavy as you're trying to fill it up you may end up using it for more than one trip as well and if you get something that is 365 <laughs> sheets of paper or more that is going to be already very thick and heavy in your bag it's going to take up more space before you even begin to fill it and that is not going to be any fun okay so now that you've picked out your notebook next you want to get a small pouch now i highly recommend the delphonics medium or small size pouch which i've shared in previous videos i'll leave the link down below to the last video that i shared about that i love that one that's one that i will carry with me sometimes when i'm especially going on i would say a trip that is at least i would say five days or more but something shorter i will carry something like this which is just a little bit slimmer and smaller and plus if you don't want to have anything on the outside of your pouch and you may want to try something like this which you can find this one in my shop i have a variety of these little pouches really easy one zip now let's talk about the one thing that you may want to have in your check-in luggage 
that will be your little mini scissors. Now, the reason why you're going to have little scissors like these is because you're going to want to cut around your ephemera. If you have little tickets, if you take some wrappers off of maybe your little coffee cup, or you, uh, you know, want to just cut up something really interesting, maybe find a postcard or something really neat, you'll want to cut around it with some scissors. So get some little pocket scissors like these. Next up, we have our stickers and washi tape. So I got these on jet pens a while back. These are Midori stickers. They're very tiny. Let me take them out because that little plastic on top makes it reflective and hard to see. So this is what they look like. They're still very thin, very small. And as you can see, they have so many little stickers here. You have little tea here with smiley faces, a lunch dinner cafe, a little flag. You have some pencils, a birthday cake, some arrows, uh, some scripts that say congratulations, important point, smiley faces, sad faces. You have clouds, a clover, pins. Uh, you have, let's see, oh, this is perfect as well for a trip some airplanes, some cars, a little coffee mug or two, and then some other random little items here. So I think this is a really neat sticker pack and they come in different colors. I believe they come in the green, the blue, yellow, red, and so on. They are perfectly thin and tiny where you get a nice variety that you can fit in a small pouch like this or the Delphonics pouch. So you have some stickers with you, not all of the stickers, okay? I know we want to bring all of them, but we can't. Also, if you want to have some washi tape with you, but you don't want to carry those rolls because let's face it, some of those rolls are really big, right? So if you think about it, here's one of my washi tape rolls right here. This is actually a really wide one, but just to give you a really good example, they can be really big like this, or even if they're about let's say half of this width. Remember that width is going to take up space. So we don't want to take up all the space. We want to be able to use the space in our pouches really wisely and make sure our bags are not too heavy. So you can just wrap around some of that washi tape on your little washi tape card if you have one. If you don't have a washi tape card like this, then what you can do is take a gift card that you're no longer using because it's nice and thick and hard for you to be able to wrap that washi tape around it. And then let's say for instance, you're going to use it on something. Let's say for instance, right? We're going to use it. Let me just grab one of my little sticky notes for reference. Then you can just put a little bit of washi tape where you need it to go. And that's it. You have your washi tape and you have a few varieties. You usually can fit about four to five on here. The way I have it spaced out, I only fit four, but I could probably fit five, maybe even six if you have some really thin washi tape. This is kind of thin, but obviously the thicker it is, the less that you're going to be able to carry. I wouldn't recommend having more than uh, two of these little washi tape cards. Cause again, we're trying to make sure our bag doesn't get too heavy. But that's a way you can have some of that decorative washi tape that you love in your bag. Next up, we have some double-sided tape. Now, with this, I want to warn you. I would say that you don't have to bring double-sided tape. Okay, you can use your glue stick. Now I ran out of glue in my glue stick, so that's why I'm not sharing it in this video, but I'll just pop it up on the screen over here so you can see the glue stick that I like to use, which is really nice. It doesn't clump up or anything. I've actually been preferring it over my double-sided tape, but since I don't have any right now, I'll use this for pictures, ephemera, and different things. Actually, recently I used it in my five-year journal, my double-sided tape because I ran out of glue. Let me just show you really quickly. So right here, my husband and I went on a movie date and so I took the tickets from the movie theater and put it in here. I thought that would be really neat. So that's an example of some ephemera that you might want to put in your travel journal with either double-sided tape or glue. So I highly recommend getting a small one. This is pretty thin, as you can see, not too wide, not too big, and it's, it's really very light. Next up, 
I highly suggest bringing a pencil if you are the type of person that likes to sketch. Now I've recently got into sketching. I've been doodling and learning how to draw different things. So I like to bring a pencil with me. So bring any type of pencil that you want, but I would say you might want to bring a mechanical pencil versus a, uh, a regular lead pencil, those yellow pencils. The reason why is because then you're also going to have to carry a sharpener with you, right? And worry about that when you're on the go rather than just being able to just click the back of your mechanical pencil and just give yourself a little bit more lead when you run out. And also, if you want to, this is optional, not totally necessary. This comes with an eraser on the back of it. It's getting really small though. <laughs> I can replace it. I have actually the little erasers to replace it with, but I like this eraser a lot. So you might want to carry a little eraser, but this is something I would say that's really optional. Definitely bring the pencil though, if you like to sketch. Now, markers, how many markers should you have with you? I say don't go with more than somewhere between five to eight markers because again, it's going to add bulk to your little pouch. You don't want to have a lot in there. So because this is sort of the color scheme that is going along with my little travel journal, which you'll see in a moment, I decided to carry these because they kind of go with the color scheme. So as I'm adding in ephemera pictures and little details, I'll be able to make everything sort of coordinate really well and match and that'll look lovely. So think about that when you're picking out the markers that you're going to use. See if it's already going to match up with the theme that you have in your travel journal. Also, I have these other markers, like I said, no more than I would say about five to eight. These are my Pigma Micron 0.01 and the 0.03. I really like these markers a lot. They have archival ink in them. They dry super duper fast, which I love. And these will just help me to, again, decorate in my little travel journal. If I want to write like big letters, maybe I want to outline the marker just to emphasize it. These will help out with that, along with sketching some things too. Next up are your pens. What kind of pens are we bringing? So if you are a fountain pen lover like I am, I say don't bring more than two of them. So I have one here. This is my Pilot Prera in ivory. This is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in, I can't remember the actual color. It's such a creamy brown. Oh gosh, it's lovely though. I love it. This is one of the Line Friends Collections Limited Edition Sailors with the medium fine gold nib, oh, it's gorgeous. So these are two that I plan to bring with me, but I say, again, don't bring more than two of them. Usually your fountain pens are a little bit pricier than your regular pens, and you don't want to <laughs> bring too many of those with you, and then you end up losing them or something. So, and words to the wise too, if you're really, really afraid of bringing that pen and you'll be devastated if you lose it, don't bring it, don't bring it at all. Don't, don't bother. <laughs> don't want to end up having that come true and then you'll just be very upset and sad. So don't bring it. Okay, so in the bag, I also have these pens too. So I say bring some pens with you that are going to dry very fast. You want pens that are going to dry fast because you're going to be on the go. If you're taking a quick note or two, right, you want to be able to just move on. You see, as soon as I wrote that within about three seconds or so, I'm able to just rub my finger on it and it doesn't come off on my finger at all. There's no markings, it's dried. Now, I like both of these pens. This is the Uni Jet Stream 0.38 mm. I've also used the 0.5 mm as well, or 0.05 mm, and uh, 0.5, I guess, mm. I have the 0.5 mm Uniball here as well. So I like both of these. Again, this is perfect if you just want a purely black pen. Very, very black, by the way, I'm warning you. Some people don't like that true black ink, but I love really black ink. Um, and they're just great. You can get these in the 0.38 as well. They come in a variety of colors. Uh, also, you can, um, like I said, they can come in blue, they can come in uh, red, pink. I mean, there's just a ton of ton of these. They, they sell these year after year, great pen. And now I'm at the point, I just get the refills. <laughs> I don't even really buy new ones unless they have new colors. Again, with the Uni Jet Stream, if you want to have a pen that has multiple colored ink in it. This one has blue, it has red, and then here, right here in the middle, this is the black. 
and this is perfect to have multiple colored inks in one pen very light very easy instead of having to carry three different pens for each of these inks so those are pens that i recommend that i really enjoy using again they dry really fast and these dry pretty fast on tom or river paper and the new sansen paper as well if you're curious about that and last but certainly not least, even though I don't have an actual official <laughs> traveler's notebook that I'm going to be carrying, I do like to carry one of their clips or some sort of clip. The reason being is because when you're using it, you may want to have something to hold it open okay so that way you're not holding it open and most of these will lay completely flat like this one let's see if i can open it to one of the pages like i can bend it back no problem i have don't worry guys i know some of you guys are screaming you don't like doing that but listen some of these notebooks are built for it <laughs> so you see it lays pretty flat you won't have an issue but again some of them it may not especially actually most of the travelers and notebooks that's why they sell these clips i'm gonna bend this one back too but see, it'll lay pretty flat, but maybe you want it to be a little bit flatter. You don't want it to really move. It gives it a little bit of weight too. So that way you can decorate and add anything that you want to your notebook. And again, it's lightweight. You're just carrying one of these. So as you can see, there's not a lot that I have in my little traveler's journal pouch here, but just enough to have everything that I need. And that's all you'll want to carry inside of your little pouch as well. So let me show you what my little travel journal looks like and how I set it up. Now I use some stickers from the Happy Planner because I've been looking for some decorative boxes and a couple of other things that other sticker shops just don't seem to have. So I got a couple of stickers from them and you'll see this looks very different than what I usually have but I really like the way it turned out. And I'll leave the link for these sticker books down below too in case you want to use it for your travel journal setup. Okay, so the front, I just put sticker vacay vibes. On the back, I have pack your bags. <laughs> just to add to the excitement. On the front page, I have summer adventure. And for this little travel journal, I actually set it up very differently. Instead of setting it up like this, I wanted to make the best use of the space. So I decided to set it up the wide way where it just gives me more space this way. So it's not going to be like this, a vertical, it's going to be more horizontal. So summer adventure. So here I have my itinerary. You may want to have this in your travel journal first because it'll give you all the little detailed information that you need. You won't have to keep looking in your phone for it. So where you'll be staying, maybe the address, the dates of your stay, excursions that you plan on doing while you're there, who you plan on meeting up, what dates, times, where, and places you want to visit as well. So that way you won't forget any of those things. And then you have some additional space here for notes. I like to have this here because maybe I can't fit everything in here, or there's some other little reminders that I might want to have here. You may even want to add an emergency contact in here as well if you happen to lose this, or some information in the front too. So that way, if you do lose it, someone can return it to you. And that's what I like about these little field notes notebooks. They have all these little additional things in the front to kind of help guide you with setting it up next i have the packing checklist this makes it easy for you to be able to pack this way you don't forget anything so on the left i have clothes and toiletries electronics you know we can't forget those we're going to need our cell phone wire things like that for toiletries, we're probably going to need some facial wash, lotion, and then planning and journaling supplies. You don't want to forget those important accessories that you're going to want to bring and then anything else that you could think of. Next, I have places I ate at. So you might want to take note of all the little restaurants and places that you stop to eat at along the way just to uh, write a little memory about it to remember it later. Next, I have beautiful sites. Maybe you went hiking or maybe you went to a museum or some monument that you've never seen before. I left this a little bit more open because I figured that in this area, I probably will add more pictures here. And so this way I can kind of just make it how I want it. So that's something to consider as well. You might want to give yourself more open space in your travel journal. So this way you're able to affix the photos and ephemera how you want it. And you're not stuck in having to do it a certain way. 
Next I have for, this is for me in particular, but you may not be going to the beach or the pool, but I plan to. So this is just a little idea of how I set it up that you may want to try to set up yours in a similar fashion if you plan on visiting a beach or a pool. So I just added some little deco here with a little sun and then a scrib hello sunshine. I thought this was really cute. Again, I'm leaving a lot of open space so this way I can add those beautiful pictures of my children, myself, and my friends when we do go to the beach and the pool. Next up, I have family day. So if you're going to be hanging out with your family or for you, it may be your friends, you may want to just have a couple of pages where it's just going to be about you and your family or you and your friends. So for here in particular, I know that when we go away this summer, we're going to have a movie night and we're also going to have a game night where we plan to uh, sit by the fire and make some s'mores, barbecue, do all those lovely things, tell scary stories too. So I wanted to again give this open space but just add a little bit of stickers to kind of guide me on what these pages will be about and then last I just have good times these are just random little short memories that I'll want to just jot down in here again that open space I'm emphasizing that because I want to make sure that you don't just fill it up with a lot of stickers and washi tape and then you don't have any space to put any ephemera pictures down or notes you're just going to be squeezed you don't want to be squeezed in because there may be something important that you want to remember and flip through later on so give yourself that space and last I have this road trip so anything along the way or on our way back that I saw that I found really interesting that's what I plan to add in here and as you can see for this field notes notebook I'm actually only using a little bit less than half of the book so this is where half of the book is that marks it right there with the staples I actually have about looks like two four six six pages plus this one i guess you can count seven pages to add anything else so that's why i like the field notes you have a lot of space to add things but at the same time it's still very slim very small and this actually came in a pack of three if you're interested i am currently using one of them as my commonplace book and i plan to use the other one for something else in the future they have a variety of colors of these this is the black one with the line pages if you prefer to have something with lines i know not everyone is a fan of dot grid <laughs> notebooks but i like them it all depends on what i'm using them for but this is the line and then again they also have another one that i'm currently using and this is really good for hiking or camping if you like to do that but the only problem with it it's not the greatest i would say with using markers unless they are permanent markers because this is a waterproof uh very strong notebook it's supposed to be windproof the pages are almost like a plastic to be honest it tells you the specifications in the back yes it says it's waterproof tear proof it's some sort of synthetic material and the cover is the same. So if you do write on it with your permanent marker, it's not coming off with water when it rains. So you don't have to worry if you drop it or anything like that. This might be something that you want to carry again with you if you're gonna go camping, hiking, or something like that, where you want to still jot down some memories and things, but you want to make sure that nothing happens to them but keep in mind of course if you do tape in some pictures or ephemera to it and it does rain or something something might happen to that it might get damaged but your notes and everything that you write in permanent marker in here it's not going anywhere trust me i've tested it out i write my editing notes in here and i love this because it's perfect so it can just have a permanent place to stay oh and in case you're curious as well i've added one of those little Lloyd's term uh pen loops to the back as well i usually tend to add them here i probably will add it to this notebook but it all depends because it's going to probably be in my pouch most of the time so i may not have to do it we'll see but that is something little trick that i like to do in the back oh and last but certainly not least is that you may want to add a pocket to the back now i was searching around in my drawer for these little pockets that come with the hobonichi weeks you may have one if you have a hobonichi weeks for some reason i couldn't find it but those are perfect to stick back here also the travelers notebook company they also sell little pockets that you can stick inside of your mini notebook and another idea, of course, too, you can just use some 
little sticky notes. If you have some thick durable ones, cut it into a triangle and then tape it to, to the back or staple it in some fashion. So that way you have a little pocket to be able to stick some of the ephemera tickets and different things in it and it doesn't go anywhere. Of course, too, you can just stick it in your pouch in here, get one of those little Ziploc bags, nothing expensive at all. Use a little snack Ziploc bag, the snack size or the maybe quart size or half quart size to stick in here to put that ephemera and different things in it to keep it safe until you're ready to put it inside of your travel journal. If you have any questions about my travel journal, go ahead, ask me in the comments below. And if you have any extra tips that you want to share with our community about how you set up your travel journal or things you recommend bringing on their travels, go ahead, leave it down below. It can definitely help someone else. I always appreciate that. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a great day planning your one life.